approach to chest pain, initial assessment through history, first the site, onset, character, severity, duration, radiation, and aggravating and relieving factor of the chest pain. Very important to have detailed history of the chest pain. Also associated symptoms like shortness of breath, productive cough, palpitations, and many others. Second, physical examination, starting with the vitals. And secondly, the cardiac examinations to check for murmurs, gallop, or bericardial rub. A lung examination to check for the chest type of breathing, is it vesicular or bronchial? And if there is any crepitations and the abdominal examination to check for abdominal pain. ECG to check for signs of ischemic changes and chest X-ray to check the lung tissue and to check the cardiac enzymes, the CK, CKMP and troponin. Causes of chest pain. Chest pain has a lot of differential diagnosis and it's impossible to cover everything. But we're going to talk about each system and the most important causes, some of the examples. First, cardiac causes. The most important and most dangerous to rule out is acute coronary syndrome. Acute coronary syndrome. Most characteristic is typical chest pain. And many physicians get confused about typical chest pain that is radiated to the left shoulder or happiness chest pain, which all of these are characteristic of acute coronary syndrome. But the most important typical chest pain consists of three things. Retrosternal chest pain 1, aggravated by activity or by exertion 2, relieved by rest or nitroglycerin 3. And characteristic ECG changes either ST depression or elevation or T inversion. And third, elevation of cardiac enzymes. Bericarditis or myobericarditis, which is sharp chest pain aggravated by respiration and relieved by leaning forward and there is four criteria to diagnose pericarditis one of them clinical the typical chest pain and second is the pericardial rub third the ECG changes and fourth is the echo aortic dissection was just sudden severe tearing chest pain that usually comes in old people and radiated to the back, there is asymmetrical in blood pressure and pulse, and sometimes come with a focal abnormality, needs CT or MRI or echo in some cases to diagnose. Second, pulmonary causes or respiratory causes. Pneumonia, which is inflammation of alveoli, comes with pleuritic chest pain, productive cough, fever, increased respiratory rate, crackles, and chest X-ray findings. Pneumothorax with a sharp, sudden, pleuritic chest pain with hyper residence on chest examination and chest X-ray finding, usually jet black. Sometimes in severe cases of pneumothorax, intention pneumothorax specifically, it comes with low blood pressure. Pulmonary embolism, which is sudden, pleuritic chest pain, increased with heart rate and respiratory rate and low SpO2. And... Also a characteristic and chest examination and chest x-ray, both of them would have no findings or normal findings. The diagnosis is through CT and G. Pleuritis, which is sharp pleuritic chest pain. GI causes or gastrointestinal causes. First and most commonly is GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease. Comes with burning pain, increase with meal and with acidic taste in the mouth, relieved with anti-acid like PPI. Esophageal rupture, it's a severe chest pain, precipitated usually by vomiting, and diagnosed through contrast esophageogram or CT. Peptic ulcer is a bigastric pain relieved by anti-acid and sometimes comes with upper GI bleeding, and it needs endoscopy. Pillary diseases is right upper quadrant pain with nausea and vomiting, increase with fatty meal, and comes with high LFT, high alkaline phosphatase, and diagnosed by ultrasound abdomen. Pancreatitis is epigastric, pain radiates to the back, comes with nausea, vomiting, high amylase and lipase, and diagnosed with CT abdomen.
musculoskeletal costochondritis. Costochondritis is localized chest pain increased with movement and palpation. And finally, psychiatric a panic attack. Psychiatric illness should not be in the differential after unless all of the physical differential diagnosis has been excluded even if the patient came with a psychiatric attack or a panic attack before physical illness should be excluded before psychiatric disease is diagnosed panic attack comes with severe frightening pain with palpitation usually preceded by psychological events or recurrent panic attacks these are the causes of chest pain most of these causes i covered in a previous video or I will cover them in the future.